Welcome to this beginner's video on filters. In the previous videos, we've looked at adding adjustment layers to our images. Now it's time to see what filters can offer us. Whereas we tended to be altering tone and color with our adjustments, filters are more diverse in their uses. We can blur, sharpen, and distort our images and also correct lens and camera-based artefacts like chromatic aberration, vignetting, and fringing. So let's take our image and apply a filter to it. Now it's very important to note that filters will only apply to whichever layer is currently highlighted. Here we can see our background pixel layer is highlighted blue, so we're ready to proceed. Sometimes, however, we could have another layer selected. For example, our brightness and contrast adjustment. And our chosen filter, in this case, would have no effect. So with our background pixel layer selected here, let's open filters from the top menu. And we'll try a filter called haze removal. This will analyze our image and remove atmospheric haze or fog from it. We can see our settings dialog here, which allows us to configure the filters effect. So we can use the distance slider to tweak how far back in the image the haze should be eliminated. And we can also alter the strength of the haze removal and compensate for any loss in brightness using the exposure correction. Once we're happy with the results, we can click apply. So then, that's what we refer to as a destructive filter. What that means is we've applied it to a pixel layer and the effect is now committed. However, we also have access to a selection of filters that we can add as layers in exactly the same way we would add adjustments. First, let's double check we have our background pixel layer selected. Now we can go to the layer menu and navigate to new live filter layer. So we've got quite a selection here. Let's go for a vignette filter. So once we've chosen the filter, we'll notice it's been nested into our background pixel layer. We call this a child layer. Again, like with our haze removal filter, we can tweak the settings until we achieve our desired effect. With the vignette filter, we're aiming to darken the edges of the image sufficiently to bring more focus on the image's center. Now the difference here is, once we've finished with the settings, we don't apply them like we did with haze removal. Instead, all we do is close the dialog and the effect is applied in real time. So let's expand on these live filters and try them on another image. So once again, we've got our background pixel layer highlighted and we can look again in the live filter layer menu here. This time, let's try a perspective filter. This filter allows us to change the layer's geometry. So for example, we could grab this bottom left node here, click drag and bring it out. We can uncheck show grid to get a clearer idea of what's happening. And we can see how we're changing the geometry of the walls and arches in this image. 
So as before, we don't commit or apply anything here, so we can simply close the settings dialog. And finally, let's ensure once again we've selected the background pixel layer. And again, under the new live filter layer, we will choose a lighting filter. Now, this lighting filter is a really powerful way of manipulating light distribution and highlighting key areas in your image. So we control it by click dragging these nodes here. And using these, we can change the direction, intensity, and spread of the light. We can also add multiple lights under the same lighting filter and tweak them individually. So we could add a second light to reinforce this new light source that we're creating. Finally, once we're happy with the filter settings, we can again close the dialog. So then, much like our adjustment layers, live filter layers offer us the same kind of flexibility. We can show or hide them. And we can also click drag to reorder them in the layer stack. And finally, we can go back into the settings to change them by double clicking the layers icon. Now, at this point, we've tackled applying some basic adjustments to our images, as well as using filters, both destructively and as live layers. It's now time to export our work and share it. See the next video titled Exporting for more information. Thank you for watching.